Yeah, I mean, similar to last week with all that rain. So have that umbrella handy. Definitely the rain boots. We are talking about significant uh, amounts of rain again today through tomorrow. Already raining outside, as you can see here, a live look at Santa Monica. We've got some raindrops on the, uh, on the lens. And here's a live look at Mammoth. <laughs> it looks cold. It does look it cold. It looks cold. Listen, we could be looking at not only just the winter storm warnings that are in effect there right now up to the Sierra Nevada, but maybe even some avalanche uh, watches and warnings. So keep you posted on what's going up to, uh, on to the north of us. Really some severe weather there. If you are traveling today, maybe headed to Minneapolis, a high of 34 degrees expected there today. 41 in Chicago, 44 in New York City, 54 in Atlanta, 80 degrees, one of the warmest spots there, Miami, 70 in Phoenix. Phoenix uh, here in the west, we're really uh, the bullseye for these powerful storms that are heading uh, our way. We've got some rain here in SoCal, but look at all of that rain associated with an area of low pressure that's still offshore, extending into Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. We've got plenty of snow falling as well through parts of the Sierra Nevadas. You saw from that live shot really inclement weather in the Mammoth area. We've got the heavier cells. This is one of our computer models. Notice how the rain continues throughout the day today, even in through tonight and tomorrow with more widespread rain and even heavier downpour is expected tomorrow. There's a chance we could see some thunderstorms as well with this system. We'll get a little bit of a break Wednesday, Thursday, even a portion of Friday with most of the rain still staying up to the north. Uh, as we get into late Friday into Saturday, We'll watch that next system move in to bring us more widespread shower chances. I don't think that one will be quite as strong as what we're seeing today and tomorrow, but we'll wait and see. I'm certainly going to put a big dent in our severe drought conditions uh, out there this year so far. So this is good news for us. What's bad news? is the cumulative cumulative effect rather of all this rain we're talking about some strong gusty winds as well and that could top all over many trees not to mention all the debris in the roadways so very hazardous conditions out there over the next couple of days look at the radar right now these are live uh, returns from our radar you can see the bulk of the heavy rain still up to the north so orange county still uh, free of the heavy rain but these are some of the impacts we're expecting that flood threat of course with the thunderstorm chances we could see those rain Rainfall rates get up to that half an inch to an inch per hour threshold. When we get those heavy downpours like that, we can expect to see those mud and debris flows and certainly some flooding. So please be very aware of that. Turn around, don't drown. If you see a flooded roadway, just remember six inches of swift moving water can knock you off your feet and can even disable your car. Power lines could be down because of the strong gusty winds. That means loss of power or electricity. Uh, spin outs travel very hazardous because of the flooding and ponding on the roadways and plenty of hydroplaning. So if you can work remotely from home today, uh, today and tomorrow, that would be a great idea. Here's our seven-day outlook. Really a couple days of really uh, some dangerous conditions to be out there driving out and about. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll see a drier period. Another storm system headed our way just in time for the weekend. Late Friday night into Saturday and Sunday. 42 up into the mountains. Snow level will remain quite high today, above 8,000 feet, and then progressively lower as we get down to Tuesday, probably closer to resort levels near 6,000 feet. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, some sunshine, and then that rain and snow expected again this coming weekend. So, yes, we've got winter here to stay for sure. Uh, we want to do some TV shout-outs here. I was just here, by the way. This is Chinaman's Hat. This is on the island of Oahu, officially named Mokuli'i. Happy 15th birthday to you, Nicole Prestoza. Your mom, your dad, they love you so much. And this is such a cute photo. I forgot to take a photo like this. <laughs> when we were there this past holiday. And then uh, a happy TV shout out to this beautiful family, all the grandchildren here. Uh, Grandma Sally sent us this photo and she says she moved to Orange County from the desert just to be close to all of you. What a great thing. Keep those pictures coming. You can send them to me. TV shout outs at fox.com. Email TV shout outs at fox.com. Don't forget to attach the photo and give me a little tidbit of information we can share here on the air. We'll be right back after this quick break.